well hello everyone in this video i'm going to walk you around in visual studio team services well basically kind kind of giving you a brief background i personally come from a git environment and personally for the last six or seven months or maybe eight months i have been working around in dotnet core environment on only linux so for that i kind of used git environment to like move my source code here and there and there and here even on the online platforms and forums etc so i mm, tried not to use team services at all because well i thought personally i myself i thought maybe visual studio team services is a very complex or a very um, well you know a very mm, what what can you use the word for that like an enterprise solution that that maybe only the organizations use so well i just had a chance to try it out myself and well it's not that much complex if you just go through all of its steps and basically try to understand how it works and since i had a background in git environment so learning visual studio team services was not a very much tough task most of this most of the stuff most of the procedures most of the concepts were all similar to what git provides us so basically i'm going to give you a brief overview of what visual studio team services is how you can create an account on it is it free for you is it not free for you how to create a new project in it add members like add source code to it and then for example create a new build definition that's a, that's a that's a confusing task and sometimes complex task for beginners like how am i going to build the project because in visual studio you just have to press that green button but like when once my code goes to the cloud how am i going to press that button over there so basically there is no such button over there these are these are tasks that i am going to walk you through so basically let's get started this service was provided by microsoft previously it was some other service recently everything got migrated to visual studio the msdn subscriptions got migrated to visual studio so the first thing that you might want to do is you need to go head over to the visualstudio.com and you need to create an account microsoft account works perfectly so like for example if you head over here and you create like you go to you go to your own profile page that it load okay so these are the accounts associated with your visual studio account uh, for example I have these two accounts uh, at the moment if you need to create a new account you can create a new account always click on this page okay so it's opening and so as you see here you are provided with a very simple form a very simple registration form that you can use and like for example you can create a new account anytime you can just enter, enter name okay that's not what I wanted hello something dot visualstudio.com and you get the idea but this is the main uh, main thing to understand the uh, the version control that you are going to use would it be git or the service that you are going to use here it provides other uh, other features like for example the method if you have ever had a software engineering course you would understand what agile scrum etc these are it also provides you to select the location where your projects will be stored but but personally saying this does not matter at all because this well broadband speeds are enough to support fast connections and communication so anyway since i have my own account i am not going to go into any depth of this so basically once you create your own account you can come back here you can click on it and it will take you right over to this one so for example this is my account i can head over here and so let's close that up okay so so this is my home page for the team services as you can see it it provides me with my recent projects my my teams etc so any anything any project that i have maintained and i have went through all of that process recently it is going to show right here in the list 
the team rooms etc these are other few services for example it can show you the pricing as i said team services is free for you if you are like five users or less than five users uh, let's uh, for a minute head over to that link okay just for the overview nothing special okay so for example if you look over here if uh, your team or your student team or whatever you are doing comprises of only five users or less than five users then this is completely free for you you can create account get depositories etc work it is all free for you but if your team uh, is not of only five users then you need to pay for that so 10 users 20 users 1000 users for example the price grows and not exponential exponentially but at least it grows so basically you have to pay for that but uh, since I am alone I don't have to worry about it. and if you are also alone like me so you can use it anytime it provides other mm, mm, URLs like learning for example get visual studio and visual studio is also free so if you never knew that if you are like five users or less programmers the visual studio is also free for you uh, the community edition mm, see these all of these services are free visual studio code is for Linux I use that all the time community edition is free team services which I am going to walk you through so okay so this was basically the overview and now uh, one thing that you need to understand is a team services account comes with a few resources because this is a cloud-based solution and uh, so all of your resources are stored in the cloud uh, the build procedures everything happens in the cloud so you you need to know what amount of resources are you using so for example building uh, that I talked about the build uh, is allowed to your team service account to be of 240 minutes only so you all of you know when you like press that green button on Visual Studio it takes a moment like for example 30 seconds 40 seconds depending on your machine and then it generates the binaries so all of that must be under 240 minutes only so this is the free resource package 